Welcome everybody to Coconut Grove. Right behind me is a newer home built in 2021 with five bedrooms, six bathrooms. It's a modern, elegant twist where you see a lot of browns, you see a lot of grays, a lot of whites. I love this style of home. For $4,890,000, we're gonna show you what this beauty looks like inside. So without further ado, let's go and check it out, shall we? Now, before we enter the home, we have to talk about the exterior. Like we mentioned, just over 6,100 square foot lot. And the entrance here, you have these really nice concrete slabs with the artificial turf in between leading up to the house. Two car garage with the wood paneling outside. It's Ipe wood, and Ipe wood here, Ipe wood up above in the soffits as well, and Ipe wood around the massive front door, which I absolutely love. And if you notice this nice detail here, it's like gray. So you got the white, the grays, and the browns making it a beautiful modern home, right? So let's walk on in. One thing I also wanna to mention too is the landscaping around and it's completely walled and gated. Oh, and we forgot to mention that when you pull in, there's like a little path where people could park out here or park on the street and then you have to go into the house to get to the backyard. Pretty nice path to have, that's important. So now we can go into the home. Big front door here, right? Impact glass door, of course, all right? Now, most of the bedrooms, well actually, there's five bedrooms, like we mentioned. Four of them are upstairs, all ensuite bedrooms. And then downstairs, we have one bedroom and then a guest bathroom as well, all right? So that way is the living space. But here first, before we show you that, this is the first bedroom, right? Bedroom right over here, it has its own walk-in closet. The windows overlook the front of the home. And then here you have the bathroom with the floating vanity. LED mirror there, porcelain tile up along the shower wall and everywhere there, which is really nice too. So this is the first bedroom. Could be great for guests, visitors, or maybe somebody who doesn't want to go upstairs. If you have somebody who can't go upstairs, there's an elevator, which we'll show you in a second. So now we're in the area where you enter the home and this is really what you see first. Love this art. That is awesome. I love the pieces they have. It brings like a different kind of vibe to the house. It's not just all so modern, which I kind of like as a nice little twist to it. Look with the, with the cow, what, what, what is this? Cow hide. cow hide. There you go, cow hide. I like it. It gives it a nice blend, right? So floor to ceiling windows here. You have electric blinds throughout, which is really nice. And then as people enter the home, they're walking here and they're leading into the kitchen area. Really, really nice. You have wolf appliances all around. Love how you have the LED lighting under. You have the quartz that comes along here in the backsplash. And then you have the little, you see that little uh, window here looking out to some landscaping, bringing in some light to the kitchen. Might as well, right? And then you have your nice big sink here, quartz countertop here and quartz countertop here. Now this island here, you have a gas cooktop, it's wolf. And then you have little areas to charge your phone. What? You didn't know. If you don't know, now you know. And then pretty cool here, you have the hood here that extracts. You have a wine fridge right down here and you have an ice maker right here. And then double oven, so you can have two turkeys for Thanksgiving, one vegan turkey and one not vegan or both vegan. Are they vegan turkeys? They're vegan turkeys, right? That's a thing. I think. I think. I don't, George doesn't know. I don't know either. Sub-Zero refrigerator right over there, which we walked past before. Really nice what they did with this island is it's a nice long island, right? So you can kind of cook and then you have the family room and the dining there. So instead of having your back to guests, you're cooking and you have, hey, tu, hey, tu. You could do those things with this setup. And then you also have a breakfast nook right here, which is neat too. So if someone's cooking eggs in the morning, they could just throw them to you or they could just hand them to you right here, you know, nice and easy. Love these light fixtures, come right down. Nice, nice little touch there. You have surround sound speakers down here throughout, so you can have the best parties in Miami. Everybody coming from Brickell or Coconut Grove is just so close because this is like right in the middle, right? So kitchen, Right off the kitchen, you have the dining room right here. 
Love that mirror they have. It's huge mirror, very, very nice. The dining room here, obviously right off the kitchen, and then you have your family room right over here. Massive couch, put a nice big TV on the wall. So everybody's kind of entertaining and staying in this one space, which is really nice, right? When we're entertaining, we all like to be part of the mix. Anybody in the kitchen or the dining, everybody wants to be involved. And really nice when you're looking at it from here, you're sitting down, you're looking at the staircase. The staircase is literally a piece of art, right? It has the LED lighting on the bottom. It has the, the really nice glass uh, railing here too. So this is just a piece of art itself. And then you have area here where you could even do like a little bar down here if you wanted to. You can get creative. Look at the little men hanging from the wall. Isn't that cool? So you don't want your guests obviously to go to the bathroom in that bedroom. That wouldn't make sense, right? Every single bedroom is an ensuite bedroom here. This is where you have the guest bathroom. Oh my God. It smells so good in here. Smell it, George. Smell it. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Does this smell really good? Yeah. My goodness. Is it the candle? This smells really, really good in here. I wish you guys could smell through the camera. Can you smell it? They can't smell it. Oh well. Anyways, this is the bathroom here. The light's off. But you have the porcelain tile all along the wall with the nice barn door. Love the barn shower door there. And then you have a Toto toilet and you have the floating vanity. Very, very nice with the LED lighting and a little window so you can see the trees. And this is also your cabana bath as well. So you have a door right back here that goes straight to the pool area, right? Uh, which we'll see at the end of the video. But we'll kind of mention to you now, really neat, what's about, about this space is you have these pocket doors from the family room right here, dum dum dum, that lead outside to the summer kitchen and entertaining area. And then here you have other pocket doors that go dum dum dum, that lead out to the pool, right? And what's neat is that you're in all of this space, you're entertaining, you're having fun, but you're also looking out to like the pool view, the landscaping, they have nice lights hanging down from the trees. So I'm sure at night this is beautiful and the lighting outside is really nice too. But we'll get into that at the end, right? Uh, over here, we have the elevator as we mentioned before. So we can call the elevator, you would just press call, open the door, and this is what the elevator looks like. Really nice, really nice. It's nice, right? Huge mirror. Big mirror. So you could like look at yourself while you're in the way down. <laughs> Full body for what? Full body for the selfie. Yeah, selfies every day. Every day that you, you get out and you go on your way to work, you just take a selfie in that elevator. And then here you have a pantry, a massive pantry. This right here is more storage. And then over here, you have your two car garage, which is very important, right? Uh, that's the downstairs. So now I guess we could take it upstairs, shall we? So now we are going upstairs. So before we get there, we gotta talk about the staircase here because on your way up, you have this massive, almost all the way to the floor, and all the way to the ceiling, two massive windows that look out to just mature landscaping and vegetation, which is great, right? Really nice, you have these glass railings, the glass railings on the staircase. You also have it upstairs there as well. And then you have the Spanish wood flooring that it starts here and is all the way throughout the top floor. And really cool, you have the LED track lighting under the stairs, which is pretty neat too. And then you have this entire wall with porcelain tile around it. And this wall is the elevator that you go up to, right? We could have gone up the elevator, but we went up the staircase. So we could show you the staircase, right? But you do have an elevator. Great for luggage. You don't want to bring it up here. You just put it in the elevator. Great for people who can't go upstairs, elevator. Now, right back over here, you have the laundry room which is a good sized laundry room, it's spacious, but you also have the primary suite, but we're gonna hold off on that and show you the other bedrooms first. Now, this right here is a little balcony with the glass railing here, overlooking the staircase and that window that we mentioned before. And then you have these really, really, really nice doors here. Look at this, I love this. These barn doors are incredible. And if you notice that these barn doors are like a wood barn door that matches all the doors that we'll see here. But this is considered one of the bedrooms, right? It's a good sized room here. It's looking out to oak trees, landscaping, vegetation. And from your angle, you're seeing buildings, which means you are close to 
Coconut Grove lifestyle that just reminds you that the lifestyle of Coconut Grove is just steps away, right? This room here also has a bathroom over here, a full bathroom uh, with the porcelain flooring, white porcelain flooring, and the shower with porcelain as well, and the floating vanities with the LED lighting under it as well, which is really nice. There's a cat right here too. Hey kitty. Me, 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 <laughs> me. Closet here as well. All right, uh, so this is one of the four bedrooms up here. And then we have the second bedroom right over here. Hey, anybody in here? <laughs> oh my God, someone, just kidding, made you think. Love the doors, look at the doors. The accent with like this, you know, stainless steel in between. I really, really like that, it's very nice. And of course, you have your hidden hinges, which is high, you know, it's a good quality door. Walk-in closet over here, completely built out. You also have the electric blinds here and in all the rooms as well. And then this bedroom also has its own full bathroom with similar finishes that we've seen in the other bedrooms, right? And pretty neat about this room, you have a little balcony overlooking your tree canopy. This is nice. Put a little chair, feel the breeze, feel the wind. Oak trees, nothing better than oak trees. Love it, love it, love it. And it's like, you don't even feel like the street or like anything. You see all these trees around, that's what Coconut Grove is about. That's why people love the Grove so much. So this is bedroom number two. Now follow me. We'll take you to bedroom number three over here. Anybody in <laughs> Bedroom number three upstairs. Again, we noticed the Spanish wood flooring that we see throughout the upstairs walk-in closet over there and over here we have the bathroom as well but before i show you the bathroom i want to note the actual bedroom itself is nice because nice, you get a lot of light now you're looking outside there's a house next door but what's nice is that there's no windows from that house so it's completely private on this side you're not getting anybody looking into this room here but these windows really overlooking all of this is just the city you see Mr. C's, you see Grove at Grand Bay, you see Grover in her house, literally steps from everything. I know I mentioned it multiple times, but that's really part of living here. That's the best part, right? Electric blinds here, once again, it's a good size room. You have the bed here, you could put two nightstands and TV up on the wall. And then here, the bathroom. We come into this bathroom here and we get a good sense here. You have the porcelain flooring, porcelain on the tiles, on the, on the walls there too. Love that window there. That window is really nice because you're looking out again to like you see the trees and you also see some city, which is really neat too. Floating vanity with LED lighting on the bottom and then you have the mirror with the LED lighting around as well. It's pretty nice. Nice, simple, modern, elegant. Not too much, not too little. Not too much, not too little. Did that make sense, George? That made sense, right? <laughs> of course it made sense. Now we're gonna walk back, backtrack to the primary suite. This is the master suite here. It is sweet, I must say, <laughs> but it's a big room, right? So you have the king size bed over here with the two nightstands. Then you have a seating area right here, right? Which they just have a little, you know, little chairs here, but you could put a full on couch easily or even like do more closet space, but there are two closets that are pretty spacious there. And then here you have another seating area where you have the hammock, huh? Why not? Why, should I do it? No, but then what, what, if, what if it breaks? So let's not do it, but let's do it. Yeah, should, should we? Okay, I don't know. I'm not, nah, 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 nah. I had to change my mind. I'm not gonna do it. I was so tempted. I was about to do it. I was about to do it, but I'd rather not. Just in case something happens, I don't wanna be held responsible here. Pretty neat, you have speakers in this room as well. Surround sound speakers, you watching TV, speakers, or you got some music going on, you can do that, right? Best part, in my opinion, of this is this outdoor area. So you're here in the master, and you can sit out here, relax, listen to the birds chirping, very peaceful, you see the trees all around. And you just, you know, you do see a couple houses, but it's extremely private. I love the space. I love an outdoor space outside of the master. So now George, I'm gonna go under here. How did you get over it? How'd you get over this? I'm athletic. Did you like go over it like that? Oh, you just went behind it. 
Oh, he did the limbo. Oh yeah. All right, so over here we have the bathroom and the closets. So you have two walk-in closets that are good sizes, completely built out as well, which is really nice. And then here you have the bathroom. Come on in. It's a different type of porcelain flooring that we've seen in the other bathrooms and even downstairs. Uh, and you have the baseboards as well in the porcelain floor. And really nice. I love how they did this backsplash here with like a porcelain tile that looks like wood, right? Obviously we can't have wood in a bathroom that gets humid, right? That's just what it makes sense. So nice porcelain tile up there as like a nice accent wall. And it's behind that wall there too. You have the Bluetooth. They say that there's Bluetooth on these mirrors. For what? I don't know. I, don't, I wish I knew, but I was told they're Bluetooth mirrors. Maybe music, maybe you can control the lights. Who knows, but like I see buttons. Maybe you can control the dimness, whatever. It is what it is. Here you got a makeup station right here. Really nice quartz countertop. And then here, this is really nice. They did this whole built out floating vanity and they kept the countertop to be the same as like the doors too, which I think is super nice. Gives it a nice warm feel. And then you here you have the faucet that's kind of like a floating faucet there. And you have the toilet room there, which we don't need to see, it's just a toilet. You have the tub right over here with the TV right above. So you can watch TV while you're in the tub or you can watch TV while you're in the shower. And guess what? It's a steam shower as well. Get that. What? You see it's closed, it's steam. You can do the steam in there. And you have the porcelain tile all along the wall there as well. And then the second vanity here, which is a floating vanity too, which is really nice. And the uh, smart mirror, I guess we'll call it a smart mirror. So that's the bathroom here, right? Oh, and don't forget the little window right there. It's pretty nice too, looking out to some landscape. Windows, gotta have windows in a bathroom, right? So that's the primary suite. I think it's safe to say we can go and take it to the backyard now. So let's go and take it to the backyard, shall we? All right, so now we are going to the backyard. Now these are the pocket doors that I mentioned. Doom, doom, doom. I'm, let me just, I might as well show you. Might as well not make the doom, doom, doom. Just show you what doom, doom, doom means. So this is what dun 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 means. Open that up, right? People are in here. You open those up over there too. And people, when they're here at night, whenever, they're able to come out here and entertain while entertaining inside too. So right here is a really nice covered area. You have the Ipe wood on the ceiling as well with really nice fans. You got the speakers up here, plasma screen TV. I don't think I've ever said that word. Who says plasma screen? That's like from like the early 2000s. I don't know why I said that. TV, just a TV, all right? And then here you have the summer kitchen. You got the barbecue right here. And then you have the cooktop there. And really nice, right? You also have, for the Bud Lights, seltzers or water, and more fridge space here. So refrigerator drawers, which are pretty neat. I like refrigerator drawers. I actually like that a lot. So the covered area is really large. As you can tell, you got a couch, two seats area here. So you kind of hang out, relax. And then you have another area here where you could dine. And it's all off of the pool too, right? So love the trees. This is all the landscaping. The house is completely walled and gated throughout the entire property, which is neat. The path that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, at least the backyard, takes you from right over here. This is where you would walk in and you would come to the backyard here. But I love this, right? I love the trees. I love the landscaping. It feels very private and you can enjoy your pool in privacy in your beautiful new Wur home 2021. They put an awning right up above here too, which is pretty neat. Awning up above. So you get a little bit more shade, right? And then if you notice, just a little detail I like to notice over here, they didn't really put windows and there's a street here. So they did that for more privacy there. They really thought of the details with privacy, where the windows are placed. Everything is very strategic, but that's the end of the tour, right? Behind us is a home with just over 3,800 square feet on a 6,100 square foot lot built in 2021. I absolutely love it. I love the details. I love the openness. I love how you can just entertain so easily in this house. Those are my favorite things about it. Would love to hear what you think down in the comments below. 
you have any questions whatsoever about this property or any property in South Florida, if you're looking, shoot me an email, youtube at jonathanvegagroup.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next tour every single Sunday, every single Sunday, no matter what. Even if George doesn't want to do it, he's going to do it. Right, George? Yes. Yes.